welcome to another episode of the... I didn't like that. Hello and welcome to another episode of the <laughs> Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Payton and Gavin Free. Go ahead and leave in the failed attempt uh, just so the audience can see a part of the process. Uh, we don't get it right 100% of the time, unfortunately, uh, even though we are professionals with our 10,000 hours, we do occasionally have lackluster intros. Uh, this is 130 times we've done this. How are you guys doing? I'm doing Pretty great. Good. Yeah, we just back to back. How, uh, how are you guys? Have you guys had pizza since we? I, I was going to mention that last episode. Last time we talked, we did the pizza. We ate no, pizza. I, I haven't had pizza. Haven't had pizza since then. What about you, Gavin? Uh, yes, I did. How did it compare? Did it rank? Was it it's worse? A really, really good pizza. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I spent literally the rest of that day making little pizzas at my desk. That's all I did. <laughs> I used all the dough. I made tiny little pizzas all day. It was great. I had a fantastic With time. The, with the seven month expired dough. <laughs> with the seven month expired dough. Well, you got to consume it. Once it's unfrozen, there's no putting a cork on that seven month bottle. It's gone. Uh, it. So does that, I guess you lived. So that's, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Zero issues at all. It's just the yeast died. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Eric was freaking out that day because I guess we all didn't realize what we were making when he pulled out all the mic equipment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what? mean? We all didn't. Are you wait, saying you wait. didn't realize and you're saying we all didn't realize? Then Jeff was like, also was like, oh, I didn't. I don't know. That was confusion when you brought out all the XLR cables and real mics. What do you mean? <laughs> I think you were confused. <laughs> Is that what you mean? There's no way Jeff wasn't also confused. What did you think was being made? I mean, I, I remember there being a conversation about uh, that equipment coming to the episode the, between Eric and Nick. Do you remember... The day before, Gavin, a conversation Eric had where he set it up with, just so we're all on the same page <laughs> and we can all create a vision for what this is going to be going into it. This is what's going to happen. Then we talked about what would happen and then that happened. I just thought well, that was us set up for showing you the pizzas. <laughs> I thought that would be like halfway through the pizza video. But it's also, I guess I didn't realize that was a separate piece like the Cosmic Crisp review. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. I mean, I think we went over that at the time, yeah, but I that's thought, fine. I thought we were, I thought we were really... That's fine. Doesn't oh, matter. Sure I, Gavin, sure Gavin, Gavin, what can I do in the future? Please, what can I do in the future to help you? Eric, this is not a you problem. This is okay. a me problem. But I think it was also a Jeff problem briefly. <laughs> yeah, but if it was, I rolled with the punches very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way you've posed this or you went, yeah, and then you brought out the equipment and we were all confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting at my home going, what? What, what is happening? <laughs> A feed that oh. I have to join and record. I felt so much personal vindication in the recording of that when we found out that Emily stopped recording at one point and missed half the pizza <laughs> eating. <laughs> you guys are meant for each other. <laughs> <laughs> it is apparently it is easy to hit stop on a phone. <laughs> oh man! How I don't understand. You can also just look at whether it's filming or not. You don't. You don't understand what to do when a microphone comes out. I'm not trusting you. <laughs> well, I know what to talk in. I know what. Like how? Wow! It's impressive. So how many podcasts have you done? Six <laughs> hundred. <laughs> confidently say you know what end to speak to. I just thought it was one video. Okay. I forgot there was a separate audio. I, wait, for some reason, we can't ever just go and do something and just make one piece of content from it. Well, I remember, I remember you saying very clearly you only wanted to make one video, and I think that's all we're making. Yeah, that's all we're making. We're only making but one the video. Whole, this is no, fool. The audio part where we <laughs> sat down with all the mics has video. <laughs> fool. That's why I thought no. it was going to be in fool. the middle of the video. <laughs> That was so genuine. That was such genuine annoyance by you. I don't think I've ever heard you call anyone a fool. No fool. Fool, fool, is, fool is underrated. Oh, is. man. I was not expecting that. No, that it was all. like it was like Gavin has had one fastball his entire career. And he yeah. just threw a knuckleball at you. It took us all off guard. No, no need for the icy shock. hot this year. Gavin brought it verbally. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> that is a British ass insult. So what so what I'm saying is now it's two videos. No. I think it's just it one. Is because we were filming the part where we were showing you. Well there's video in the audio part, but I don't think it's two videos. 
Yeah, just but give Nick the, the video, video and he'll sync it with the audio and then that's So when piece. it's on YouTube and there's uh -huh. video of I us talking. I see what you're saying. I see, that... I see. Okay, uh -huh. I see what you're saying. Okay. I think that's it's audio one. with a video component. Yes. What we ended up with videos. again is uh -huh. an audio product that has a video in some places. Yeah. Plus yes. the video of making the pieces. So two yes. pieces of content. It is, yeah. We all agree. I oh, think Nick said he synced point. everything up. It's incredible. <laughs> I'll tell you what we have. We have more fucking content. And I, I, for one, am here for it. I had so much fun making those stupid pizzas with you guys. I am no longer scared of my pizza oven. It was sort oh, of a, a, a pizza oven redemption. Emily and I have been talking about getting making our own dough and making our own pizzas and maybe not even tearing the thing down and just keeping it up and becoming backyard pizza people. And that oh. wouldn't have happened if it weren't for last week. That was the goal, right? And and you even talked yeah. about potentially having a future sausage talk where we just make pizzas and <laughs> talk sausage at the pizza table. I think it's a great idea. I would love to. I mean, it's a tool at our disposal now. Yeah, like a sausage talk where we actually talk about sausage. We is could that, do that. Is that the premise? Okay. We could, we could be. We could get super literal. I can't help but notice, Andrew, that it's December now when this comes out. Yeah. Have you been here yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never said I would. I just said it would, up until November. Been and gone, my friend. Yeah, it is. But I, I, what? I can't go in December or January? <laughs> Are you blocking me from going? I'm not opposed to going. I just haven't been. When are we meeting up? When are we doing it? When are we going to see each other in real life, for Christ's sake? I don't, I don't, I don't know where all this aggression is coming from. It, it's I'm like so I called you a fool. to see you. <laughs> Here's the deal, Andrew. We have done 130 episodes now of this podcast without seeing each other. We've all seen each other except for you. I'm not convinced you still are real. I will say I, I won't need an ocean to sneak when we do see, as established. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be sneaky. All Maybe I've been there and you don't even know. You think about that. Can, can I pose something? Because I was talking to someone about this the other day, about how uh -huh. we haven't seen Andrew in person. I think we're going to get together, and here's where I'm worried. We're going to get together to see <laughs> Andrew in person, and then Andrew is going to hire someone to Ooh. be Andrew, and then we're still not going to be getting together with Andrew. Mm. I feel like we could go to him, and then a Craigslist man will show up and be like, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Andrew. And it's like, no, it's not. And then he's like wearing he's a wire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. it's like in Roxanne. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's going to be so. I just, I really do believe something like that. Like, that's what we're in for. No. Um, so I am worried. I mean, the first hurdle is you're not going to find my door. That's the first problem. And so my door, even my door is sneaky. Even where I live is sneaky. That's how sneaky I am. We don't have to find your door if you bring it with you to America. It seems like a lot of work. I typically <laughs> only travel with a carry on. Like, I don't, but I check that. I think could I travel yeah. with my door? How much would that cost? <laughs> I mean, people travel with surfboards and shit, right? Like, I always, yeah, that's true. The, yeah, it's probably less overhead. inconvenient. Yeah. Just strap a handle on it. <laughs> I'm worried that when we, when we all meet up, we're not even going to be able to look each other in the eye. Yeah. I don't know what that means. What do you mean? What are you talking about? It's going to be weird. Yeah. Why is it going to be weird? Look, I didn't know you had a giant bushy beard until you told me one day. You didn't know I had a cat. You don't know anything about me. That's not my fault. I don't <laughs> think that changes if we see a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, that's a fair point, Andrew. But you, I think you're underestimating Gavin's natural awkwardness. I find I have trouble looking him in the eyes in, per, in person. It's, it's, it's weird for me to see Gavin, and we see each other all the time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can look Eric in the eye. I, you know what? Did we? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Man, today has been a fun energy. God, this has been, been a real weird one. It has I been a weird day. These two episodes are really good. <laughs> it was just a, it was just nothing. It was quiet. <laughs> I can look Eric in the eye. <laughs> I, was, I was getting ready to ask a question. Did Gavin ever give approval on the photo that, that he took when we did the Icy Hot thing? Is that going to be oh, shared I don't know. or not? Do we have a definitive statement on that? I know oh, you I wanted to make a version where you couldn't see as much lap and thigh? Well, that's, that's the, you know, I didn't know if you were okay with it. I, I had a few uh, versions of it. I okay, did, I'd love to see them. That I'd, I know this is an audio format, so we won't, we won't be too quick, and we'll try to describe what we did. So this was the, the original photo, just as a fresher. People may have already seen it. Which I, I think is fine, by the way. I, I do think it's anything. fine, too. It's just, it's a uh, little it's totally alarming. Fine. But 
So we have a few options that uh, if you weren't okay with it, Gavin, that we could go with. We could um, the first one I did, I thought, let's try to remove as much as we can. So I did. <laughs> I did just the face, <laughs> only the face. How do you feel about that one? Somehow worse, I think. You think it's somehow worse? I agree. I think that's it great also people some... could draw draw in what they think is happening in the photo. I think that's a great. <laughs> they could, yeah. Great which contest is what, for the audience. What I also, which is also what I put together, it gave me vibes of that. <laughs> of <laughs> the scene in The Shining when uh, he chops a hole through the door and shoves his face in. It's very side. similar. Thanks for leaving my headphones on in that one for some. Yeah, reason. no problem. Well, listen, I'm just I'm throwing things together. This isn't a professional operation, Gavin. We have a, a few other options uh, that we could go with. This one, this one, just the knees. <laughs> Everything else is gone. <laughs> Only legs. I think that's even I better. Feel like, I feel like that one, that Unless one is you've seen the whole picture, you can barely tell what's happening there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like a DIY, like you have to stitch it together yourself if you really want to see what it looks like. <laughs> and the last one that I, I'm going to show, I think this is the most disturbing of all of them, personally. I think it leaves the most, um, I don't know, I guess vulgarity. Uh, the, it's just, it's uncomfortable. It seems like it would be, it's the one I would, oh, it's just the same one. <laughs> I'm getting them all mixed up in my, my log. Here we go. This is the right one. So this is everything from the arms down. There's something that just seems bad. Oh, See partial yeah. arms? It just feels bad. <laughs> it feels a lot worse than, than the actual photo is. I think that one actually makes it a, a worse photo. Maybe we should use Photoshop to draw around the censored area and do like a content aware fill and see what it comes up with. <laughs> Ooh. Do you have Photoshop? I don't. <laughs> I can I can tell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to. I don't have it on this computer. Uh, I'm afraid I don't either. So oh. I don't know what, what we'll go with. Maybe those will all be public. But I just I wanted to run some options just in case you were. I mean, I think I'm fine with any any version. Okay. You want? Uh, but I do like the idea of having to put it all together yourself. Maybe maybe we'll release all those. Oh fuck! I don't know because the original the browsers one's going to come out first, right? Yeah, but well, that's fine. Oh as, man, as, Andrew, those are so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, I was having fun damn. last night, just trying to come up with different options. I wanted to see knees, wanted to see face. I, I think we kind of covered things, and I'm sure people will be creative in their own ways once the uh, <laughs> photo went. Out. Did you see some of the photoshops people did, Jeff, of you with the door, the awkward door photo you took when you're at the restaurant? There's some uh, great ones of those. No, no, oh. I never really paid attention to this. I'll see if I can find any of them. They're, they're I'm sure I ones. probably look super cool in them. You do. It's great. Um, but yeah, that was that was the photo. <laughs> photos I put together for the show. I had one other thing. I did strange. Oh, what should I talk about? I got two things. Okay. And what should hmm. we'll go with the dollar store? I went to the so we watched MVP two recently. Yeah. And I, I was looking at MVP2 because I, I was just curious. I thought I should own a copy of it. So oh, I have real, in my collection. Real fast. Has that come out yet as of the recording of, or as of the release of this episode, Eric? Fantastic. Uh, this will come out the 30th. 30th. So, and I think the monkey movie, if Nick gets the editing, good to go. That, that should have been out for a week at this point. Nick, that's oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think we're good. I think we're so, all lined up. Monkey movie. Yeah. So as... As of this, uh, we put out a bunch of, of ancillary content recently. Uh, the Survive Block Island Meltdown uh, recap conversation about all the stuff that wasn't in the show, apparently. Um, the Monkey movie, uh, we've recorded the pizza, probably haven't released that yet. Uh, but anyway, uh, just to catch the audience up, make sure everybody's aware of what we've made and where it is. Continue, Andrew. So I was looking online for copies of it, and I found a VHS one that was sealed. It had this big sticker on the front that said, Also... It includes special behind the scenes with Bob Burnquist to like teach like a skate segment with him. And I was like, I want to see that. That sounds fantastic. And so I looked at the DVD, had even more special features. It has a laugh, uh, not a laugh track, a uh, blooper reel. Uh, it has the Burnquist thing. So I've been trying to find a copy of it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go into just like a Best Buy and find MVP2 on DVD. I felt like my best chance to find it would be at like a thrift store type of thing. So I was looking. I was going all over this thrift store. I was looking. They had so many fucking DVDs. It took me forever to get through, and I didn't find it, and that was incredibly disappointing. But I think I found something even more obscure. 
which I bought, and I'm posting a photo of it right now. I found a sealed copy of the first season of The Strangerhood <laughs> in the thrift store I went into. <laughs> I, I can't believe they didn't have MVP2. But they did have a sealed copy of The Strangerhood. Five dollars. Great buy. I was did you very get happy. It? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. I took a photo of it. I unsealed it to get a sweet coupon uh, Dude, so I can mail. I can mail in this thing to buy some sweet merch. Got to mail it to Buddha, Texas. Wherever. Where's the let me grab you know uh if you paid five dollars for that DVD you probably got ripped off. I think we were selling it for like two bucks on the site before before we discontinued it. Five bucks. Maybe not. maybe we're still selling it for all I know. I don't that think you are well at all. Is that what you th- is that? <laughs> oh <laughs> lord. No. That That's what so Photoshop bad. thought should be. Oh that. no Photo- Photoshop made it way too sexy. Ugh. <laughs> that's uh yeah, that's not better. Yeah, well, we won't release that one. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> that's if you want to know what Photoshop thinks Gavin's middle looks like, you download Photoshop and do it yourself. It's not great. We're not going to do that for you. Ugh. So I didn't find MVP2. The other thing, I asked Jeff and Gavin this. I'm curious if your answer to this has changed, Jeff. I'd love to hear your response, Eric. But the idea was if they were, if, if it was decided that you could no longer have tap water running through your house, but you had to replace it. With something else, what would you switch it from? Uh, Gavin said appetizer, which is a drink I had never heard of. Mm-hmm. Jeff, at the time, you said diet Pepsi, mm-hmm. uh, but then brought up a great point of trying to shower with diet Pepsi. It would be terrible. I didn't even think of it in that way. I was just thinking of something because to me, water is the best beverage. It's something it's what I drink the most of. It's so convenient. It's great. Mm-hmm. So I was curious if you had to flip, what, what would it be? Do you have an answer, Eric, for this? Man, I Boy, that's tough because I yeah. don't really drink. I don't really drink soda, and soda feels like the natural goat. People are gonna be like root beer, which is <laughs> crazy, whatever. But I don't really drink soda at all. Um, so I, I want to say dangerous, but I want to say like beer or something. But then you can't shower. That really threw me for a loop. The shower thing. Really the shower a becomes the problem. Yeah, yeah, and and like washing your hands. Like I could take a shit into beer, but then washing your hands when you're done. You know what Ugh. I mean? Like, yeah, no, it'd be terrible. That. Yeah, yeah. Just so, take a shit into beer. Yeah, you could. I well, mean, that yeah. would be fine. Water. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, it's I pretty, see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you think that that was just a fun fact on the side? <laughs> Why were you throwing off by that? <laughs> For some reason, I was just picturing a pint glass. I was like, that's disgusting. Oh like, no, it's oh, terrible. What the fuck. I mean, I could. I could do that. But, okay, but, let's just uh, go purely on taste. Let's remove okay. all, all other functionality. Uh, I would see. I think I I think I would have to go with beer, and then I would just have to keep waters in the fridge. Okay. What do you for showering? No, we just said for we, taste only. You're Gavin, an idiot, oh, sorry. Gavin. You're that a being, fucking that fool, being said, Gavin. No, but I want to. But Ga- but uh, along with what Gavin said, let's go the other route. Like you do have to shower with it. So what is the one liquid you would want to shower with the most, other than water? Like the water's not available. You got to shower. What's the least offensive liquid to shower with? Uh, pineapple juice tea tree oil what well that's tea an oil. tree oil <laughs> you're gonna shower with oil you're a freak <laughs> hey gavin talk i think about? of something that's gavin? Sha- shampoo sometimes you fool <laughs> <laughs> uh i think it would be iced tea unsweetened iced tea oh, that's, that's the great. most yeah. like water to that's me. a good one oh, i feel like i can get tea. clean in iced tea old tea smells really gammy could you do I mean, none of these are ideal <laughs> Could you do like a uh, like a coconut water? Is that something? Rubbing alcohol. Rub it fuck sucks, Nick. Oh nuts. my god, Nick, yeah. you're a fucking maniac. Burn your fucking eyeballs out, dude. Yeah, what the fuck? It's not <laughs> sticky. His whole thing is <laughs> that it's cool. it's not sticky and it's clean. Well, that's what the thing, a is maniac. Like so many drinks have sugar. You couldn't use any of those for showering. If that's the price to be good at cornhole, I don't want to pay. That's too <laughs> much for me. Um. Could you do so? I'm thinking like coconut water. That's something. That's but it's water, so, though. It's, but it's, it's so. yeah, it's like stick. No, but it's just it's just from a coconut. It's just coconut juice. It's just like the inside of a coconut. Okay. Um, man, could you? Oh boy, I don't know. It's tough. I don't think there's a great answer. It can't have sugar. Gav's right. It's like you can't have anything sugary. Pineapple juice would be terrible. Pineapple juice oh, yeah. is so sticky. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell though. It smell would be great. amazing. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it'd have to be something unsweetened. It'd have to be, yeah. Iced coffee, maybe. How much? <laughs> uh, how, how much would you need 
if you had to go seven days where, so I'm thinking of like, oh, like replace it with, you know, what's something that's close to water without being water. I'm going the other way now. Seven okay. days where they just replace all the water coming out of your faucets with whole milk. How oh. much would you have to get paid for that? I mean, Jeff would just seven. never turn on a tap. Ever. You have to, you got to take a shower. You got, you can't like go somewhere else to shower. Like you're, if, you've got to do like your daily stuff. I, I, you, tell, you tell me I got to brush my teeth with milk. You, whole milk. Yeah. It would ruin your life. I would your rather life would be over. Uh, $10 million. Think, really? Okay. I would do it for $10 million. You wouldn't do it for $9 million. No, I, I would, I, I would, dis I, I would, I would discuss it with Emily. You had $9 million right in front of you and you'd say no. Do you know how fucking white milk is? You know how yeah. fucking gross milk is? Uh-huh. I, I, Nine million, you'd say no. So then am I, what am I doing after that? Like, toweling off? Am I, like, washing with a flannel after the milk? I well, can yeah, still do that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can still, you know, you could do everything else is the same. All, all your other, you know, showering routines and getting clean is the same. But everything is just no more water. Just for seven days, it's whole milk. And I can't use an alternative. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. It's it's like if everything you were gonna do with water is just replaced with milk. Just Everything's for a week, one to though. one the same. You just is for it, a week, just seven no. days. I would yeah, do that for easy. like two hundred grand. Two hundred grand for a week, easy. Jeff said ten million dollars. I well, I I was agreeing with him, and, and then I realized <sighs> it wasn't for life. It was just for a week. <laughs> I Gavin also likes <laughs> milk. I did. I actively dislike. Are you milk. saying that? <laughs> You really wouldn't do nine million for one nine, week of milk. <laughs> nine just, million. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you guys the friend discount. I'll do it okay. for nine million dollars. Wow. So you. So you're <laughs> telling me that if I showed up with eight million dollars right now, you would not do it for do eight you, million dollars. Do you have eight million dollars? Oh no, I'm asking you that. It, like right now, in front of you, you would say no to eight million dollars for seven measly days of. All right. Milk. Well, all right. I would do it for eight grand. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. Is it eight million dollars in cash? Yes, US in cash, cash, right to you. Yes, tax, tax yes, free. Yes, Government tax doesn't free. know about eight million. it. No. Nope, okay, I'll million. do it for I'll do it for eight million. Okay, so seven million dollars. <laughs> no. There's no way no. you would do it. Now eight is as low as I can go. I've given you guys a twenty percent discount. That's as far down as I can go. It's a week. Seven yeah, million dollars. Exactly. That's a million dollars a day. Think, Jeff. Yeah, I'm, a little bit more than a million dollars a day. Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant. I would do it for a grand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, let's see how low this one week only milk comes through the taps <laughs> yeah two grand <laughs> yeah <laughs> can i go out of town on vacation that week so no, no 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 you're at home it's a normal week everything's the same it's regular i mean i had a week a couple of years ago my water was off for like a week <laughs> and i had no power for four days it's just gonna be like that it's gonna be shitty for a week no it's gonna be milky for a week it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be milky for a week um <laughs> So you like, you like, Gavin, you love to make pasta, as you say, right? You fucking yeah. you make pasta all the time. So you would have to boil your noodles in milk. Yeah. I probably wouldn't make that that week. <laughs> I probably have a lot of milk based food. Smoothies? You, 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 would, you would just eat cereal for, well, have I mean, cereal? I would have, I would have to eat cereal for Ooh, seven days. Hot chocolate? I'd live off of yeah. hot chocolate. Yeah. Dude, I, hot Cheetos? Easy. Hot chocolate's good. Hot chocolate's good once. You wouldn't want it. You wouldn't want two like, hot chocolates in the same. To rephrase day, this question, Jeff would be unwilling to only drink hot chocolate for a week for eight million dollars. <laughs> that would be the minimum amount. That's the most absurd thing. Of, I somehow ignored <laughs> the seven days part the first time we were thinking about this. I heard it, but it just didn't go in. This sounds great. I'll do it for eight million dollars. Not for seven wanna, million dollars. You guys want to put that seven? together? If Jeff, want, why, how would you not do that for a grand a day? How would you I'll, not do that for seven thousand dollars? Here's here's how here's how it works, Gav. Is with you guys. I got to take a stand at some point because if I do it for seven, I'll do it for six, and if I do it for six, I'll do it for five. <laughs> right. And the next but thing you know, the next thing million? you know, the next thing you know, a week from now, I'm paying you guys to have my fucking uh all all of my water. Sorry, I'm choking to death. I'm paying to have all my water replaced with milk for a week, and somehow I'm paying for it. No, <laughs> if you're choking, you should just have a firm. glass of milk. I'm going to have a glass of Diet Dr. Pepper, which I would replace all of my tap water with for really? 18 bucks. You're, you're bumping Pepsi. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I, I have, because of this conversation, I'd never heard of Appetizer. I ordered Appetizer. One of the weirdest online store experiences I've ever had. Have you ever had an online store try to haggle with you? <laughs> no. 
So well, I eBay. Yeah, but that's like a different different thing. This was like just a a website that sold imported goods. And so I had to find because they don't make this in anywhere outside of Europe, I'm assuming, in like South Africa. I think I bought it from a South African imported store. And they so have I get appetizer? it. They do. I got it in my cart. I put two in and I went to check out, put in all my information, went to cash out is the last button, address all that, hit clear. Then I said, wait, 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 wait. How would you like one more can 8% off? Offer you 8% off on this can right now. You add one more to your cart before you finalize it. I was like, this is so weird. I've never had this happen. It had a timer on it. I was on like a shot clock to like figure out if I wanted one more can or not. And uh, I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I like, I love apple drinks. Maybe I do want three, 8% off. I don't, mm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to pass on this. So I said, no, thank you. And then another screen popped up <laughs> and I said, okay, we understand. How about 15% off? Can't we entice you to buy it? I've never, we went through two screens. I had a 15% discount. I wanted to take the can at that point, but I needed to see how far we could go. Like, could I get the 30% by just constantly saying no? And uh, so I did it again and it just ended. It was like, okay, well, your transaction's done. I was very sad, but they did offer me a 20% off coupon on my next order. It was the most bizarre online shopping experience I think I've ever had. I love it when people put timers on that shit, even though it's yes, it for matter. everyone for all time. Do you think you could then go use that 20% discount on more Apple Teeny and another purchase, and then they'll <laughs> off, also offer you the 8 and 15% discount? So you get that's a 15% a, discount wow. on top of a 20% discount? That's a great And question, get rewarded Jeff. with a new 20% discount for, for your me, efforts? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try doing that. You um, should. Actually, I'm not going to do that on my computer, because... Uh, slow and i don't want to fuck up the recording for now yeah please do it on my phone um well I ha- I, i'm gonna try this it's been in my fridge for like two weeks i've been curious about it i want to i want to see this is i'm gonna i haven't had it since i was young but i think it's just a f- sparkling apple yeah can you describe apple? it can you describe it for us gavin i don't know i don't understand what apple tizer is it's just like a sparkly apple drink it tastes apple tizer lot. is a nice sparkling apple drink and if your grandparents offer it to you they'll probably call it apple ties for some reason is that's that's all that's happened in my experience but i remember liking it delicious you, okay i said that it sounds exactly like martinelli's just foreign martinelli's which i am a fan of i'm gonna try are you gonna again. send it are you gonna show us yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna oh that was good that's Gavin, where do you think Appetizer was invented? Oh, I'd say the UK. Oh, uh, you'd be wrong, but you do. You Ooh. you guys do think you're the center of the universe, so that makes sense. It was created German? in 1966 in the Western Cape of South Africa. So it is actually a South African thing. Yeah, that's cool. Is this fizzy? <laughs> Should be. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh come on. on. Oh come on. Come on. <laughs> you pour it in your lung? Why would you <laughs> What the fuck is <laughs> I thought I could do the chug. I thought I was gonna surprise you both with the chug. <clears throat> it did not work. <sighs> you chugged you chugged uh-huh. You went all in uh-huh. again. Yeah, I am here. I'm not gonna see what this tastes like. I'm gonna pour the whole thing down my gut. I don't I don't feel like I actually know how it tastes and I'm halfway through. Oh the no case. shit! Let's try this. You choked on it. Oh, wow. I've got appetizer facts whenever we're past this. This okay. kind of sucks. Oh. This is not. I mean, it's not, it's not like something I would order, but I was saying if, if I had to have that instead of water, I would probably go with that flavor. I enjoy it. it it's just carbonated apple juice, right? It yeah. It's lovely. But imagine it now, instead of choking on it, imagine it now as like a water substitute if you had to pick one. I definitely prefer the Martinelli's. Could you oh. shower in it, Andrew? Or would it be really, really sticky? Oh, I imagine you know, it's a lot of sugar. Hmm. Is it very sweet? Uh, it's it's definitely tart. Juice. Yeah, it's mm. it's a sourness to it. Um, yeah, I could shower in this. It would be very <laughs> sticky. I think I would shave my head though if I was going to do the shower thing. I feel like any hair, the amount of you, know, you remove as much hair as possible. Imagine you're walking down the street and a bird poops all over your arm. Are you just going to pat it off with a dry napkin? No, you'd wash it off with water. So why are we treating our buttholes any differently? Stop smearing your business around with toilet paper and start washing with water with the Hello Tushy Bidet. Hello Tushy Bidets are a fantastic product. They're so easy to set up. 
elevates your bathroom no matter what it is. This is fantastic. So stop spreading your business around your butthole with toilet paper. Start washing with Hello Tushy Bidets. The Hello Tushy Bidet attachment washes your bum with fresh water for a way better clean than toilet paper. Simply spray and pat dry. It attaches to your existing toilet, no electrician or plumber needed. Installs in less than 8 minutes. Cuts down your TP use by 80%, saving money and paper waste. Make the restroom your best room with the complete Tushy system, including the Tushy Bidet attachment, ottoman, and toilet brush. Hello Tushy has cleaned over 1 million happy bumps. Join them and take care of your business the cleaner way. We want all of our listeners to have clean bumps. Visit hellotushy.com slash face to get 10% off plus free shipping right now. Tag us in at Hello Tushy on social media so we can celebrate your clean bum with you. That's hellotushy.com slash face for 10% off. We're getting into the holiday season. It's a great time to buy gifts, and there's no better place to do it than the Rooster Teeth store. No matter what your fandom is, as far as Rooster Teeth goes, they probably have a bundle for you, such as the Achievement Hunter Fall Bundle. You layer up a new Achievement Hunter Fall collection and save. Pick out any two pieces from the collection and get a third for free with code AHB2G1 at checkout, as well as the Face Jam Barbecue Bundle. Get the infamous Face Jam apron and spatula as seen and trucked up for just $34.93 at checkout with code FJBUNDLE at checkout. Most importantly, though, is there's plenty of wonderful face merch, including the Anal Passage t-shirt, which at one point, y'all made the number one selling shirt on the store for 2022, which is absurd. I love it. Uh, it is unfortunately dropped down to two. So I would, if you're, you're looking at getting some face merch before December 14th, which is the cutout to receive it at Christmas, consider the anal passage, but we all got, we got all sorts of things that you could possibly enjoy. Ridiculous shirts. Thank you so much for supporting our show and supporting the content in general. I hope you're having a wonderful time over these holiday festivities. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. There's so many times in life when you're going through an issue, whether it be personal or work, whatever it is, just having a user manual would make it so much easier. But unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent. Therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. BetterHelp has connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient and accessible anywhere, 100% online. Therapy is a, a wonderful thing, something I'd recommend to anyone. I've talked about before how much it has helped me. So if you're somebody who's going through something, I'd highly recommend it, even if you're not necessarily. It's just a really healthy process to go through. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com face. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com, slash, face. Do you have hair right now? I do, yeah. How much hair do you Several. have? Several. Okay. Several. Several pieces of hair. Do you have long hair? Parts of it are. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, do you have a mohawk or something? Like, no, what? it's different. I have some areas of my hair are longer than other areas. It's kind of annoying. Do you have, like, a cool the, the old- shag haircut or something? Like... Well, it's just I got a part of my hair that's longer than the other parts, and I keep trimming that part because I'm not ready for a full haircut yet, but the other, the one part of it is too long. You're not seeing your guy? No, I'm seeing my guy. I want to see the guy, but I, I don't, you know, I'm trying to space out my haircuts a little bit, so I'm Are trimming you cutting, the- you're cutting your own hair? Well, I'm cr- cutting part of my own hair. Most okay, of my so hair the answer to my touched. question is yes. So the answer is yes, you are cutting your own hair. Yeah, because it's, a, it's in front of my face, and it gets in my, my eyes. So it's you've long. just cut a hole in the front of your hair that you can see through, but the rest <laughs> well, is long. Well, that wouldn't. I I chop off the part that's longer, and then it. I I think <laughs> it grows faster than the other parts because the other parts I don't feel like I need cut, but that part is an annoyance, <laughs> so I cut it, and eventually it will all sync up again, and we'll be good. <laughs> just go get a haircut. 
No, I don't what? want to. That seems like an annoyance. I don't need it yet. I'm happy with the length of my 90, 95% of my hair. I'm happy with the length of. So it's just 5%. <laughs> so you've just cut. That's exactly, Jeff, 100% yes. Bruce yes. Valanche yes. in my head. <laughs> exactly what I thought. 100%. I was going to ask you before you sent that, I was going to say, do you think Andrew has a Bruce Valanche haircut, Jeff? Yes. And then you sent the picture. <laughs> How accurate is that, Andrew? Um, yeah, it's it's I yeah, it's there. I mean, it, you wouldn't say I would show up as like a second cousin if this was Ancestry.com on that hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same, but they're definitely related. They're in the same ballpark. <laughs> okay. They're close. Oh, is that why? God. Is that why you're not coming here yet? Because you're waiting until after your haircut? No. Absolutely not. I haven't been invited. If you, if we invited you today and we, we booked you a plane ticket for next week, would you get a haircut before you came or would you just roll with what you have? I'd have to see the availability of my guy. So you'd, be, you'd be interested in getting a haircut, though. Uh, hmm. You'd consider it. I would consider it, yeah. When, hmm. when, when is this flight? It's next Wednesday. Wednesday? Mm. I don't know if he's open on weekends. Like, sue me is Friday. I'd have to leave on Tuesday just to get to Vancouver. That's oh, true. A lot of time. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think, uh, I think I, at this point I wouldn't get a haircut off okay. this conversation. Well, there That's you, where there I you. would stand. There I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a burp that was like hitting me every inch of the way up. Like it was bounce, like a pinball. It was just bouncing <laughs> left and right up the throat. And I just couldn't. I was like trying to bob and weave it out of my body. That was terrible. So hey, apple tie is a, out of 10? Like five uh, out of 10, uh, probably like a 5.5. Okay, but what okay. about oh, as a water wow. substitute in all your faucets? I'd rather have whole milk and just make chocolate milk all week. Would it, would it taste better if it was made <laughs> out of a cosmic crisp apple? Absolutely. Okay. But that's the, should we carbonate our, our cosmic crisp apple juice? <laughs> yes. Yes, I think we should. Should we... How right. hard is it to make your own apple that's juice? That's too gross. You just press apples out. Right, yeah, right. Press we could do that. that. Then maybe thought, sieve it, then maybe put it in a soda stream. I thought you wanted Jeff to use the apple that's been in his fridge for almost a year and to put uh. that in a cup and then like soda stream the cup. I thought that's what you meant by <laughs> oh. that apple is poison. I will touch it to my tongue, but that's about as far as we're going to get with it. Uh, and I think I still have a couple months to go on that. I'm not sure. Uh, I have an answer for your apple ties thing, though, Gavin. <laughs> yeah. In 1979, the Coca the Coca Cola company purchased 50% stake in Appetizer, and I think that's when it was brought over to the UK, somewhere between like 69 and 79. Uh, then they launched Red and White Grape Tizer, uh, but then it had to be relaunched in the UK as Apple Ties due to complaints of the owners of the Tizer brand of soft drink, which I guess already existed so in the UK. So it's actually called so it Apple renamed- Ties? Well, this the saga is not over. So it was actually called Apple Ties in the UK until 2001. After lengthy <laughs> negotiations, uh, the makers of Tizer allowed the R to be added to UK branding again. So then they no reclaimed way. the name in 2001 and were then able to rebrand it as Apple Tizer. That explains so much about my childhood. There you I go. Could never figure out why everyone was calling it apple ties when it had an R on it. <laughs> because to, till 2001, it was it, they were they were forced to call it apple ties, even though probably <laughs> in South Africa and Jap- apparently it's a big export of Japan and also Spain. That's phenomenal. And there it was probably ties the whole time. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's your answer. Why didn't every every little copyright issue they should have just taken off the last letter? Like you know how Star Fox in the UK is called Star Wing. Mm-hmm. Should have just been called Starfo. <laughs> Starfo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had Tizer before? Do you know what that is? T I Z E R. I don't know. What's in it? Uh, it is a red colored citrus flavored soft drink bottled in Cumbernauld and sold in the United Kingdom. The name originally comes from the phrase Tizer the Appetizer. It was launched in 1924 uh, when it was known as a pickup appetizer, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, in 2007, the company stopped using Ed the Head as the mascot. You don't remember Ed the Head in England? <laughs> um, I feel like I've heard the name. I feel like Ed, Ed the, the Head, head is a wrestler Eric would know a lot about <laughs> in a card over an extreme. He'd have all the facts on Ed the Head. Ed the Head Tizer. 
Oh, weird. It looks like it's it's more like a Max Headroom than anything else. I've never seen this so before, but it looks like something that came out in 1994 with this guy's face. It looks like it's the most like, what's up, Gen X kind of look to a can. It's really something. Uh, That's fantastic. Let me fucking. Too powerful? Yeah, it was too powerful for the fucking internet. Eric <laughs> well, was going to buy us all. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Hi, Wait, were you go. saying something about me? Uh, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> you said that you were going to well, get us yeah, Nitro. Yeah, and finance still will not clear my card to buy Nitro for this server. Huh. Um, all right. <laughs> you can tell it's Tizer time when your eyes are shut. What? That's a fucking... <laughs> what? Here, hold on. Ed the head. Oh, it just took me to Iron Maiden. Is that... An Elton John looking man, it looks like. I think, the he's, I think he's meant to look like Elton John. I don't think it is yeah. actually Elton John. Oh, it's definitely not Elton John. You can tell it's Tizer when your eyes are shut. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a distinctive taste. Yeah, it's like for. so good, you got to close your eyes to drink it. Interesting. Well, yeah. I, no, I don't think I've ever had that. We need to almost... get, we need to be on a mission to get Tizer. T I don't Probably fucking find. Buy it on Amazon right now. TIG. I think it's about time we do our crisp gauntlet. Crisp gauntlet? What do you mean by that? Oh, yeah, we need crisps. Do oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chips, crisps. I was confused. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you okay, Jeff? What'd yeah, it just, it just reminds me of uh, something I wrote down uh, that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Yeah, I want to hear your notes. We're 40 minutes into this. We got to go through your notes. I had a dream. I had a dream idea, and I don't know if it's good <laughs> or not. Uh, well, first off, uh, here's my notes. Uh, okay. Fuck Walmart. VCK, uh, VCK mouse pad update. I wanted to hear if Gavin started oh. using it yet and what that's like. Uh, I was going to talk about weird sports and that idea you and I had maybe, Andrew, but we can hold that off for whenever. Uh, oh, yeah. So the, the dream idea I had was um, we should... I like how the, audio, how the, how the uh, community makes these albums and how I just think that's so pure, like really cool and creative. And I was trying to think of other mm -hmm. like creative ways that we could create content together or create like something together. And I was thinking about when I was in the army early on in the army, uh, on holidays when soldiers were too poor to go home, we would all like get together in the common area of the barracks or whatever. And everybody would have like one recipe that was like their family recipe. And we'd make like a Thanksgiving dinner for all the like wayward people that didn't have the money to go home to see their families. Or in some cases just didn't have family to go home to. Um, and you'd have like kind of like a potluck Thanksgiving dinner. And I know Thanksgiving is a pretty American thing, which is why I'm on the fence about talking about it. I know you guys have a Thanksgiving in in Canada, Andrew, but it's mm -hmm. different. And then Gavin, uh, I, the whole point of Thanksgiving is that we were saying thanks for not being England anymore. Um, <laughs> so I imagine you you people don't uh, probably don't celebrate it as much. Uh, by Both the way, of I July also not a huge one for us. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot find I cannot find Tizer on Amazon, so we're gonna have to do some work to get the Tizer. But I had this idea of like maybe everybody we could put together like a, a, a community sourced cookbook where everybody submits like their Thanksgiving ideas for like like oh my family's cranberry recipe or whatever, and I think we could call it Deep Lore about stuffing. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's my Deep idea. Lore. Oh, I hope there's no stuffing recipes in it. That's even better. Or just it's just stuffing recipes. Or it's just stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's either or. I, my no I, was, I was trying to figure out how to work this into a bit. And my other idea was we all come <laughs> up with five stuffing recipes and then we throw them into a hat and then everybody pulls one and you have to make that stuffing recipe and it can't be your own. Interesting. And then we have to make each other's stuffing recipes and then, you know, I don't know. Then we all eat them and see who we like the best. But Do we just so, eat the stuffing or do we eat? Them as a part of a meal. I don't, up, I don't know. I think it's up for debate. I'm more into the name Deep Lore about stuffing. <laughs> that was the dream part. That was the part that I woke up and I went, that, I had just like, I just came up with the best name ever for content in my dream. And I woke That's up with Deep Lore about down. stuffing. Yeah. yeah. Are we, so do we want to do this the next time we record? Is that our Deep Lore about stuffing? Because it'll be around <laughs> Thanksgiving. It'll be our Thanksgiving episode. I think if everybody went home, because what? We're not going to record next week. And we're probably not going to record the following week, but we may uh, on an off day. But at a minimum, we have a week or so that we could all just come up with a stuffing recipe. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to invent it. Just come up, you know, figure it, like talk okay. to your family, see if they have a family stuffing recipe or just make your own up or find one in, I don't know, Better Homes and Gardens or whatever that you like. 
Uh, but it's it's an idea. I don't know. I would like to do it. I think it's a great idea. We don't even necessarily need to like obviously be made by the time, but we could talk about eating the stuffings. Yeah, it just seems, and it seems like a fun thing that they could do. Like, it's not like a product we'd sell or anything. Just like, <laughs> no, maybe a, maybe absolutely. a channel on the Discord server where everybody just shares their holiday recipes or something. I don't know. <laughs> Deep lore about stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, you guys responded way more positively to the name than Emily did. <laughs> oh, it's a great name. <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic! Oh. I'm excited. I'm gonna look into stuff as soon as we're done recording. I'm going into stuffing books. I feel like stuffing is one of those things that everybody loves, but you just but you don't think about. It just shows up. It's like, oh yeah, there's a stuffing. Uh, I I just feel like there's probably a lot of a lot of room for like some real stuffing creativity. I think so, and it kind of goes back to the roots. I think unlike other previous uh, invent your own uh, food related item, it's, we're all clear on what a stuffing is. There will be no disputes in that regard. Yeah, I think this will go great. Like, here's what, and some people call it dressings, some people call it stuffing. At its most basic level, it's just, because I Dressing. Because you know, Gavin is not, uh, not American, I know. Well, um, we have stuffing in Christmas. Oh, you do? You do? Okay, cool. Because it just looks like, god damn, everything is too powerful. I can't even show a picture of fucking stovetop stuffing. Do you know how much nitro is, by the way? <laughs> uh, three bucks a month. Eric can't get approved for three bucks. Let's listen. It's not Eric. Eric's trying. Just some sort of a credit card snafu. Three Fuck, bucks I, a month. I would, I would fucking personally pay three bucks a month to be able to send stovetop stuff. I'd have milk time. coming out of my taps for a week just to get nitro. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so anyway, those are uh, that's that's my my idea uh, for like a, a fun little <laughs> holiday thing we could do. Um, and then my only other note was just fuck Walmart, dude. Just fucking fuck Walmart. Hey, you've been what to Walmart recently? I'm not a Walmart fan, but I go there from time to time because <laughs> they sell cards, you know? And so sometimes yeah. you get lucky and get a pack of Prism uh, or like a blaster of Prism. Mm -hmm. uh, and then during the, uh, the whole alphabet thing, uh, Walmart, they just have a lot of variety, right? And so I was going mm -hmm. to Walmart. That's where I got like the Utz chip or the Utz <laughs> cheese balls and then the Utz yeah. Utz <laughs> pizza and the Utty Utties and all that stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and so I've been like going to Walmart lately. <laughs> Uh, and and I remembered why I stopped going to Walmart. I can't fucking stand any store on earth that treats 100% of their customers like criminals. It's fucking bullshit that I can walk in and pick up a 24 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper and then go to a checkout where I'm six feet away from a lady who's standing at the exit who's watching me buy one 24 pack of diet dr pepper i know she's watching me because we're making eye contact and then i pay for it and then they give me a fucking paper receipt which is i don't know why we still need those and then i have to walk up to that lady and if i try to walk out past her she puts her hands out and stops me and looks at the receipt and then studies it slowly and then looks at the 24 pack of diet dr pepper and then looks at it again and then decides i'm cleared like she's like okay you're clear to go and i understand that it's like it's, it's a job and people need to do the job and we need to have jobs for people. And, and I'm sure, you know, it, it, it's I appreciate that she's doing it. But fucking like have some common sense here. You watched me buy the goddamn <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper a foot and a half away from you. Like I could you could probably smell my cologne. We're so close. Like, don't make me go through like I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to sneak out of Fort Knox with a gold bar. Jesus well, fucking Christ. It's tw it's. Diet Dr. Pepper. It's not even, I mean, I'm holding it in my hand. It's not even in a bag because it's one thing. Why do we have to pour over the fucking paper like she's grading a test? So you went in, you, you grabbed the thing of Diet Dr. Pepper, you bought the Diet Dr. Pepper, and then you left. That's the only item on the Yes! It's, it's, that's, it's, so that's, what's go to strange any about, Walmart and buy anything. I'm going to have to test what's this out. What's strange? Uh, they the treat, you like, they treat you like a goddamn criminal. Well, no, the... It's a strange implication because you have one item and you can see that you only have one item. So if you're looking at the receipt, if you stole something, it wouldn't be there. <laughs> it's almost like she was validating. It was like she was shocked that you came in only for Dr. Pepper. You must have attempted to buy something else and you have left it behind. Is it because it's people only who reason. steal are more likely to buy just a single item to warrant just like a trip through the checkouts? 
It's what it is, Fox? is they don't trust their customers and they treat their customers like shit. Didn't Fry's used to they always make do that? You, they make you verify that you bought the thing before you can leave. Like you're going through fucking security. <laughs> like they're gonna, like they're gonna, like there's a rope and they have to like what they very like up checks out and they open the rope and let you leave. It's fucking stupid. And fries did it too. And guess what? There ain't any fries around anymore. Oh, I loved fries. I, I we at, at Waitrose, the supermarket I worked at, we were told never to like intercept thieves. We just weren't mm -hmm. allowed to like interact with them. You, you, I guess more likely to get in trouble and sued if you like injure them trying to get stuff off them. And uh, a lot of the. <laughs> A lot of the customers knew this. Like some people would just walk in and just like grab a bottle of vodka <laughs> and just hold it over their head as they walked out, just be like, taking it. And we would just have to be like, we didn't have to like get them much earlier, like intimidate them. They'd have to like send managers to stand near them. But if they managed to somehow get like passed out of their aisle, they would just openly steal and the police wouldn't ever come. And it'd be like, okay. Like it was, it was kind of, I don't know. That's funny. I get it. Was it was kind of I impressive. <laughs> I get that theft is a problem and that, that, that the, the store has to protect themselves, but you can't, assuming that every single person who buys something in their store from the age of five to 85 is a hardened criminal who you have to verify uh, their purchases 100% of the time, it's just, it's not a way to do business. And, I, and it reminds I will, me why I stopped. I stopped going to Walmart because of this, because I got into a fucking fight with a security guard when I was 19 years old because I had the audacity to buy a record player. And the guy re and the guy <laughs> like I almost got into a physical altercation with the guy and he fucking threatened me <laughs> because he's just like standing. And I get it. I was 19. I, I was I was this 19 year old, like goofy punk rock kid. I looked like a criminal, which is why I had a little bit of patience. But the guy's like standing at the receipt and he's looking at the record player. And I'm like, if you're having trouble reading it, I can help you with any of the harder words. And he like scowls at me. And I'm like, no, seriously, it seems like you're you're having some issues here. Uh, just let me it, it, point out what you don't get. And I'll tell you. And then he like yelled at me and then I yelled at him. And then like somebody else had to get involved. And it was a whole thing. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm not going back to Walmart ever again and I, I stayed pretty true to that for about 20 years and now I'm wishing I had I, I stuck to my ground because they're still doing the same bullshit they were doing it in 1995 and they're doing it in 2022 and I hate it I want to go and see if it's a you thing I don't remember the last time I was in a Walmart <laughs> it must have been like, five years ago or something but I want to go and buy something and see if I get stopped yeah I don't think I've ever been stopped but it's a Canadian thing they're, they're the greeters famously yeah they got I'm they got greeters stealing. love the greeters yeah. greeters are great <laughs> Love the greeters. I don't think I've ever been checked. They welcome you into the it. store and then they f say fuck you on the way out. <laughs> it's like Costco welcome, welcome like to Walmart. One. Have a great day shopping. And on the way out, they're like, hey, fuck you, you criminal. Don't come so back. So what am I buying? Just a uh, 24 pack of <laughs> drink or something? Buy a, t buy a 24 pack. Buy a 12 pack. <laughs> buy, I don't give a shit. Buy anything. Buy a candy bar and then watch them treat you like you're like you're trying to fucking rob a liquor store. <laughs> Now, you seem to be against the paper receipt. I'm a big fan of the paper receipt, personally. Because sometimes, I'm going to be honest, I feel like I, if I go into a store, right? let's say I go into a drugstore, and I buy a 500 milliliter bottle of soda, I then go into a grocery store, if I don't have a receipt for that bottle, I feel like I'm living dangerously. I feel like everyone's going to assume that I'm stealing it Why from that store. Why are you bringing I don't new merchandise into sometimes stores? Sometimes you, I would you change because, stores, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, like sometimes, like I'm going car, into. I guess. No, it's yeah. It's, they're right next to each other. I'm not going to go all the mm. way back to the car to put one bottle in the car and then go back in and get groceries. Like I might go into one place because they have uh, Nerds gummies is something that is not everywhere. Very important yeah. essential item. So I'm just mean like handheld things that even if they don't have in their inventory, I just feel like ooh, this looks. I feel like I'm being sneaky. I just feel like most stores have a camera, so you can they can see you walking in with it. Yeah, yeah, but, but like, who is that person? That just feels like a lot of people having to have a talk over something. Like, it, it's not actually a concern. Like, nobody's ever going to stop me, I don't think. But it's just, in my head, I'm always like, ooh. And that's I why you're so a receipt guy? That's why I'm a receipt guy. I like having having the thing. But this could also be influenced by the fact I had those shorts that would set off the, the alarm. <laughs> I, go in, so. I actually com completely understand that reasoning. I think that makes total sense, Andrew. I I I'll say that in... The way I frequent stores, that never comes up. Very, very rarely comes up. But I'm a big fan of the no receipt button. Like, yeah, I, no, I, that's I, great. I would much rather Give just not. Choice. I would just much rather not print more paper into the world.
Well, yeah. you're lucky you had that receipt, Jeff, because I believe their policy is if you don't and you go there, you have to do a lie detector test right outside the door, <laughs> right in the front. If they can't check that, dude, it's a way more extensive process. The, dude, that's why I keep a penny in my shoe at all times, <laughs> just in case I have to do an impromptu lie detector. I don't know if you know this, but if you like put a penny under your big toe and focus on it, supposedly you can pass any lie detector. Oh, I always heard it was like a pin that like you had to do something to like, I've never heard the penny. Yeah, that's I've heard way like a penny, like a you pin. just like focus on the penny and like touch it with your foot and like i don't know i don't know why but that's a fascinating what a weird concept of like having a device that could tell when someone's lying well Just apparently it doesn't idea. work very fucking well because yeah, they're not all, all inadmissible in all courts yes <laughs> could you imagine having to rely on a playstation to prove your innocence like just as like the idea of like a piece of tech being the thing like it's an absurd <laughs> idea it shouldn't ever be used as an only metric uh, especially considering you're you're not even really relying on the machine as much as how somebody interprets a bunch of <laughs> yes! squiggly lines yes! on a machine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know these lines they 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 go up and then they go down and that tells me you're lying. It's like what other direction assume- do they go? Well, they only go up and down. Do they ever go just flat? <laughs> no, no, they don't do that. They always go up and down. So they're going up and down, but I'm <laughs> but I'm lying. But they're going up and down, and he's not lying. And they're like, yeah, totally. Do you imagine if they designed it so up and down meant you were telling the truth? <laughs> like the machines as the baseline are constantly going up and down. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's the baseline? How do they know that a machine is working? What do they? Well, then up they to? they ask you some questions, like some basic, like what's your name? What uh, what color is this? And I don't know. It's Wouldn't like, you just lie obviously. about those baseline questions just to throw the whole thing out of whack? You could, I guess, theoretically, but I, I don't know. I've never taken a polygraph before. I haven't either. I feel like I've only seen it in crime shows and they don't really go into the specifics of how that works. Like an A&E middle of the day murder mystery type show. They always have the scene where it's like a, a montage of what it looks like, but you never see anyone actually use it. Mm. It's just weird. It's a weird <laughs> device. Hey, as we're wrapping up and I realize because we're recording this a bit in advance because of vacations and holidays and stuff. Do you guys think Eric is good at Frisbee yet? I bet we've already filmed him throw. Okay. So probably he's probably better today than he was before the previous episode. That's good. That's Why don't we fly Andrew in for the f- face Winter Olympics? Okay. I need, Frisbee. I need time. Dots. You need. You need time. If I'm gonna compete. To, what, I need to time. get a haircut. To train. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know to like train. I got to get my darts down. If I'm representing my country, I take that very seriously, Eric. Okay. I need to practice some. We've got three countries. <laughs> um. I need darts. My darts average is terrible. Is my belief. I've got zero dart confidence. Yeah, but the, the Canada that. can't postpone the Olympics when it's, the Olympics. That is true. <laughs> that is oh. true. Oh you, oh, you watch it. You watch it right now. It's happening. <laughs> we give you the date, and then if you want to enter your country. <laughs> yeah, but the Olympics also don't say they're happening next week, Gavin. There's four years. <laughs> it's a schedule to wait event. Four you years? have time to train. <laughs> Honestly, Andrew would make it last four years. If he could not come here for four years, that's what we'd be waiting on. Okay, okay. Well, Andrew, how much time do you need so that we can put this on the books and get the flights worked out? How much time do you need to prepare to get ready for the face Olympics? I will say it's different on home turf. Which I gotta say. Last I heard, last I heard crabbing. You're, you're coming crabbing at some point. Vancouver I'm, co- I'm coming crabbing for a bachelor party. I'm not coming crabby. <laughs> I'll crabbing. I'm not coming crabbing to do the Olympics. Those are two different uh, trips. Could crabbing be an Olympic event? It, well, Maybe. Yeah. What if you had to be in Austin on the 15th of December? That's no. No, I can't do that. How about it's February? It's over a month away. I can't do that. How about February? What, what can't you do about it? It's my mom's birthday, December 15th. I'm going to be. Oh, shit. <laughs> How about mid February? Because I'm busy in a lot of January. How about mid February? Can you come in February? Mid February? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have no plans on mid February. Yeah. Well, let's just put it on the book. Hang on. Let's all Hang on. Valentine's Hang Day on. together. That wasn't a yes. That was, I have no plans in February. Andrew, can you commit yeah. to coming in February? I'm just trying to like remember everything Gavin says when he's scheduling anything <laughs> at this show. Uh, yeah. I'll just say yes and then I, I'll, I'll say no as soon as we're done. Yes. You are. F- <laughs> I. I. I <laughs> Doesn't it I was, suck, Gavin? Isn't it annoying? <laughs> but I was actually at Monkey Movie. I was actually at Pizza Making. Yeah, I'll be and, at the Olympics. And I didn't say maybe in, you know, next quarter. It was like I'll a week away. I'll be in the Olympics. 
We you guys are, are going to hold the Olympics. You're like, Andrew never showed. Then you're going to realize all the fucking gold medals are gone. <laughs> Sneaking Andrew coming in. And that's been all in my back. Okay. And it's going to cut to me in the plane like MVP. I'm just sitting there with nine medals around me. We have until February to figure out what the Olympics are. I feel like they definitely have axe throwing. <laughs> they definitely have cornhole. They definitely have darts. What? Uh, they definitely have frisbee distance. The frisbee put. Uh, All of these sound miserable to play in winter, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it depends on which week in February it is. It's either going to be 70 or 30. True. Uh, we'll go for late February. We should be fine. And then we can, so we can work on any more. Well, this gives us time to get medals made for all the events and then an overall oh, medal. Uh, this gives us time to get uniforms worked out. This is good. I think, I think pushing it to February, not even pushing it to February, just settling on February allows us some time to do some legitimate planning. I like it. But we are committing to doing... How often do the f face Olympics happen? Which, by the way, I was shitting on the name f face last episode. Saying f face Olympics is the funniest thing in the world. Right? <laughs> so I'm back. I'm back on board with the, with back the, on with the name of our took podcast. One yeah, uh, I think we can decide that after years. every four every four years. years. That seems like too mm. infrequent for a podcast. Um, what if what yeah. if we did every three years? Because like, there's an Olympics what about every two. Every other time Andrew gets a haircut. <laughs> That's too often. How about every other? How about every year? I think I think once yeah, every year is too no too I think much. once a, I think once a year is good because you can do winter and then you can no, do summer. I agree. It's too. No, what about uh, remember every... how often the freaking Minecraft fishing jamboree comes around? It'll be that. It'll be like, oh, how's it already the fishing jamboree again? How about every twenty months? <laughs> Very now funny. I will say what? that what we do for Face Jam is we have something called Jam's Giving, which is just like Thanksgiving, except it's just whatever we say it is. So it just it's a lot looser. It's just something to think about. Are you competing with Deep Lore about stuffing? No, this Jam's Giving is <laughs> what a year old at this point. So um it sounds like you're competing with Jam's Giving. I'm just saying. Um Ooh. I'm just putting this out there that We've established. Oh, I don't we've, that, but. we've established that. Well, you just make if, it whenever you want it to be. If yeah. Jam's giving and Deep Lore about stuffing are competing, <laughs> I know which one's winning on the name alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> How do these podcasts <sighs> cover so much of the same yeah, right? ground? <laughs> It's almost as if people aren't that interesting or complicated. <laughs> uh, but okay, it sounds like we're good. It sounds like we're good for February, and then we'll work out the logistics later. That's great. And if anybody has any uh, like new uh, competitions they want to submit, I feel like we should probably have a good seven or eight if we can come up with them. I bet I can stick some Monopoly money to Andrew's door by the end of the year. No way. The end of this year Could or the end of next year? The end of this year. So you're going to go up to Nanaimo <laughs> covertly sometime in the next month and a half and stick Monopoly money on There's no I'd say With that's me how, not noticing? That's how sneaky I am. With me not noticing? I bet you'll text me a picture of it and I'll already be back on my couch in Austin. Okay. <laughs> Deal. There's no way that you do this. No? No. Zero percent chance. I'm going to catch oh, you. Oh, man. You won't I catch really... me while you're watching your door? No, I just, I don't know, I'll fucking Kevin McAllister it. I'm going to step into a trap. There's going to be a fucking paint can that swings I'm gonna by. I'm going to grab the handle and then there'll be a pee burn into my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. You're on. I don't even know what the stakes are for this. Stakes. I <laughs> the Ooh, steak somebody, steak somebody has steak to buy steak? a steak. Has to buy the steak dinner. If, if, if the problem is, I don't know where Gavin lives, so I'm at a disadvantage because I was gonna counter back and say I do the same for you. I don't know where you live. I live in Austin. It's just not great. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, I can help you out there. Okay. Okay, we'll figure it out. I mean, I don't know where we'll Gavin figure. lives either, but I can figure it out. Yeah, no, you, you know, you at least could patrol the streets and yeah, look yeah. for. I got a better shot at it than you do. I know what his trash can looks like. I'll send you photos. <laughs> I'm excited yeah, about your trash can. Do you think, Andrew, do you think you can, do you think you could get a bag of cucumbers on his front porch without him <laughs> knowing or seeing it on any camera, without there being any uh, evidence of it happening? I will, I will get a bag of cucumbers there and I'm taking your trash can again. You're going to have to order another one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm man. I'm so excited to meet up eventually. I'm going to really be I'm, pushing for it. 
Well, it's happening gonna, in February. Yeah, that's still so far away. I was getting excited about November. Dude, February is not far away. It's gonna go so fast. We're gonna have we're gonna you're gonna be so busy with the end of the year and then the beginning of the year and all the trips and stuff. Aren't <laughs> aren't 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 we taking a, a, a potentially taking a beach vacation together between now and then? I hope so. I do too. I think that's the plan though. I'm just excited to get my steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Who makes the what's the best steak in Austin? I feel unqualified. Yeah. Mm. There's a restaurant called Jeffrey's that has a it's really fucking expensive but really good. I, what I, would I you say are the top three? Like Can the winner pick their steak? What about that? Absolutely. Okay. True Lux used to have this thing called Steak Dynamite, which was really good. What was that? It was like it was like a nice steak, but with shrimp and spicy sauce on top. You know what my favorite part about winning this bet is, Jeff? Mm. My favorite part about winning this bet is I'm going to schedule, I'm going to win this steak. So that's going to be my first prize. I'm going to go to Austin. I'm going to redeem this steak. And Gavin is going to forget to show up to this steak dinner. And then I'm going to get a guilt basket. <laughs> that's exciting. It's going to be a double win. This that, is a mountain. We're stacking victories here. Are there any new consoles coming out anytime soon? I don't think so, mm. but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Any, it, or if you want, you can buy like you can. The winner oh. can the winner can make the loser buy like a cut of steak, and then I can grill it for you. Although it'd probably Ooh. be better just to go to a restaurant. But I'm not bad. No, I think that'd be a good idea. I like that. And then I I'm excited. Let's do this. Uh, that, that's We're my locked way in. Of, we have our bet, Gavin. Stealing some some steak we, out of this. So what's the actual <laughs> bet? You have to put a dollar. So. If what is being caught mean? Do I have to tag you? How does this work? You have to catch me doing it. So I need to stop you in the act, essentially, to prevent or it. Or al alert in... him, alert him that you're aware that he's there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I have to try to put a fucking cucumber on your door <laughs> and steal your trash can for bonus points. Yeah, it needs to be cu the cucumbers need to be in a bag and they need to be sweating. Uh, if, okay. if we're gonna be correct now, Gavin, are you putting an American dollar, a Canadian dollar, or Monopoly money on his door, or British? I'm probably gonna put a Monopoly hundred on his door. Okay, a Monopoly hundred. Interesting. Okay, I'm excited. What's your door made? Of? What, what um, sort of fixings that's, do I need to bring? That's, that's for you to find out. I'm not gonna give okay. you any edges. I don't have your so fucking could, address. I should probably bring like a tape or a magnet or a screw. <laughs> Don't screw. Don't use a screw. That'd be a bad idea. <laughs> Tape would work. <laughs> if you went with a screw, I would cease to have a door. <laughs> what do you mean? But then I guess I'd technically win the bet. <laughs> if I just get rid of my front door. <laughs> well, you're going to be bringing it down with you anyway, right? <laughs> Didn't we determine That's you true. With it? Yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> I get to the door. It's just a door frame. <laughs> He's left. <laughs> That's true. You can't put it on the door if you can't. Be, if he's hitting the door out in the woods somewhere, <laughs> the door <laughs> <and it> counts. <laughs> That's a question. Now, we, that, does the door frame count? If it if has if to. Gavin yeah, goes fine. there and you yeah. remove yeah. the doors, yeah, it does the door okay. frame would count? Okay. <laughs> he's taking the door frame off. <laughs> <up. laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it on the door frame if you can find that. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of stuff coming up, maybe. Yep. We either have a lot of stuff coming up or we have nothing coming up. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess it'll depend on after we hit stop here and what Andrew says. Yeah, what Andrew really means. <laughs> what? You're playing that on me? <laughs> when, when do I say yes in the recording and say no the second Literally the oh, last oh. time. The monkey movie. The, yeah. the previous time, the monkey movie. You immediately said no. What was my reason for saying no? You see, I don't remember, but you, as soon as we finished, well, if we I ever do that, it's because it. there's like a new information I've remembered. I'm never like, oh, I'm saying yes now, but I'm definitely saying no actually afterwards. <laughs> it's usually like <laughs> something else comes up or that, you know, we have to change for some. I'm never like lying in the recording. I never. Uh, uh, oh, Nick says new information you remembered is all information, isn't it? That's correct, Nick. But that does, that's a great point. But that changes the intent. <laughs> I gotta, uh, I gotta defend Andrew a little bit. There are some times when you say yes to something, and then ten oh, minutes 100%. later, as soon as we stop, we go, "All right, so we're on for a Friday," and you go, "Well, yeah." And there's no implication that I at that time I you. I don't think that's I just true. gave you an example. I just gave you an example. 
What was the example? What? <laughs> the MVP. Oh, you're ridiculous. You fool. You, you didn't say what the MVP thing was. You you said we'd all agreed, and then if you go in the episode, it's the whole the nets. You're ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> but that was the information I had. In Let's the end the show. Let's end the show. <laughs> it, what did it fucking fly to you five minutes later? What do I you mean? Checked a calendar or something. Exactly. <laughs> That's fine. But you did the thing. You did the act of saying I'm available, and then as soon as we stop being, oh no, I can't. But the intent is different for you because you already know you're saying no to this. I yeah. would. I, I'm so amazed that Eric is so quiet through this part because I, I would love to hear his. Well, you know, maybe it's better we don't. Uh, we should probably wrap this up, right? Okay, we should. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm also not sure that Eric. You gotta is still go here. remove my have, door. I'll be back. I, 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 I get the impression. Eric oh might no, have, no, no. He I'm here. Just to prove that There's he's here. just nothing that I'm gonna do that's gonna solve anything. So I'm just waiting for it to end so we can figure out if it's something we're doing or not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have it. Uh, thank you for listening to another episode of the F*** Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. Uh, I don't know why I said that. That's the beginning part. Uh, strike that. Uh, I mean, I said it. Don't delete it, but don't retain that information. Uh, just go ahead and like and subscribe uh, and tell a friend uh, about F*** Face so that they'll like it too. Bye. Hey, guys. Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of F*** face the boys ate too much turkey and forgot to record an episode so here's some predictions for what happens next week eric forgets his icy hot again jeff made friends with a living turkey pen doesn't understand thanksgiving gavin wants to move what is the year's best movie how did you celebrate black friday and once again andrew does not eat the pencil all that and more on next week's episode of face i'm not available in feb <laughs> <laughs> i already knew that <laughs>